Hello, welcome to the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, in this section, we're going to use this circuit here on the board and we're going to solve it with mesh current methods. The question is, what is the power supplied by the 4 amp source? So this is the first circuit in our mesh current section where we're actually going to um, involve a current source. And so, it, you know, anytime you have a current source running around a mesh problem when you're trying to use mesh techniques, you need to think a little bit. So we're going to get to that point and we're going to use our brain a little bit to figure out what to do. Um, but my advice is just set up the problem exactly the same as all the other ones. You know, it's not like a magical new class of problems. You just do it all the same way. So our three meshes are this one, this one, and this one. So we know we're going to need three mesh equations. So let's label them. I'm going to label this one with an arrow like this, I sub A. I'm going to label this one, I sub B. And I'm going to label this one, I sub C. Of course, it's going all the way around. I just drew the arrow over there, I sub C. Okay, so what do we do first? We are going to work with mesh equation IA, and then we're going to write one for IB, we're going to write one for IC, and then we're going to be done. We're going to solve the problem and um, you know go, go off and be done. So up here, let's start at this corner and go through the 120 volt source, through the sky, through the sky, through the sky, and so on. So if we're traveling through the 120 volt source, we're going from negative to positive, so we have to treat that as a negative 120 as a voltage drop. Now when we get to the 5 ohm resistor, we're going in the same direction as our current, so we have a voltage drop here, so we treat it as positive IA times 5. So this is V is equal to IR, positive because of the orientation of everything. Now when we get to the 20 ohm resistor, we're sharing with these two meshes here. So IA is here and IB is here. Now when we're traveling around this direction, we make the assumption that the current really is going down so that we can write a plus sign here because if the current's going down then there's an implied voltage drop from here to here and anytime you get a voltage drop you put a positive in your equation. So if the current's really going down then it's got to be IA minus IB which is fighting it. So IA minus IB which is fighting it. The resistance is 20 so this is IR. D is equal to IR. Now when we get down to the 7 ohm resistor again we assume that we're going to hit a voltage drop like this, which means the current really is going this way, which means it really needs to be IA minus IC, which is fighting it. Plus, so it's IA minus IC, which is really fighting it. It's a 7 ohm resistor. Set the whole thing equal to zero because we've gone around a whole loop. And notice we have a plus sign here and here because as we subtract this direction, we're assuming we have a voltage drop here and a voltage drop here. So it's all self-consistent. Now let's simplify this guy here. So what we're going to have is negative 120 plus 5 times I sub A plus here we have 20 I sub A minus 20 I sub B plus 7 I sub A minus 7 I sub C equals 0. And then we collect terms. So we have an I A. So this, this guy plus this guy is 25 plus this guy should give me 32, so I'm going to have 32 I sub A. I sub B is this one, so I have negative 20 I sub B. I sub C, the only one I have is this one, so it's minus seven I sub C. And that's all correct. The only constant I have is this negative 120. Let's move it to the other side of the equal sign, make it a positive 120. So this is our first Mesh current, mesh current equation that we're going to use to solve this problem. Okay, 